<laughs> um, growing up in a you know a, a degree of I guess what would be considered poverty or you know uh, precarity. Um, there was a point at which you know at the end of high school you know I was doing well in English, I was doing well in science, and like what do I do? And uh, you know unfortunately I look back and I think well I do want to make a living. I don't want to be poor. And I just saw you know the chemical industry this side of things as okay this is a way I can make a living I believe and that's that's evolved over time you know, sure at, at the end of college I was like oh, I, I, I want to work more on drug development mm -hmm. this is an interest um, biochemistry obviously I felt okay well chemistry yeah it's hugely impactful in the world but um, bio, biology biochemistry that's to me that's where there's a certain magic and mystery here you know right. and I was like I wanted to understand that better so I kind of after college shifted as I went to university in a little bit of a different direction but uh, yeah so coming out of college it was very much um, you know I studying chemistry I'm like eh, okay this is all right but where my the real interest and where I thought the real kind of mystery was is the, the chemistry of the body Okay. So that's when I kind of took that turn and I started studying biochemistry. Um, I ended up, after I finished my uh, undergraduate, I went back and I did a PhD with um, one of the guys who taught me, this guy Bulent Mutis, a uh, little Turkish guy who did, I would say he did enzymology and photochemistry. Okay, I understand photochemistry. Yeah. Enz What's the other thing you said? En enzymology <laughs> is the, the study of enzymes. Oh, I guess so, I could have probably put that together. Yeah, but it's really, it's, yeah, it's, it's kind of nailing them down and, and their characteristics and kind of place in evolution. And um, so I did my PhD with him. And then, you know, really, again, this goes back to the, you know, being inundated with a fire hose of knowledge. <laughs> I, you know, you learn, I think often, many years after you study okay you know what i mean yeah or you can study something for a number of years and all the the kind of insights the real intuitive elements i'm like oh i see now yeah. it often comes the, re the revelations come years later so um you know i did my phd with him hopefully i learned some stuff and uh from there i went on and i got more interested in so we did, we did some work with proteins and enzymes, and that's when I kind of realized, oh, I really like the world of proteins, and it's kind of vast and huge and very different from the DNA world. Um, so I kind of went in that direction and uh, went to Boston. That'll do it for this episode of the ABB Podcast. Don't forget, you can subscribe to our full audio episodes on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or anywhere you find your audio podcasts. The full episodes, highlights, and our live off-the-floor performance videos can be found at our YouTube channel, and you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram at The AVB Podcast. Of course, you'll find links to our incredible sponsors and this week's guest in the description below. The AVB Podcast is part of the Border City Network. Find more great content at BorderCityNetwork.com. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.